A caseworker has also been confirmed in an employee, uh, or a case rather, of COVID has been confirmed in an employee at the Waianae Coast Comprehensive Health Center. The worker is now isolating at home. The health center has <clears throat> contacted patients who may have been exposed and other staff members who had direct contact with the employee are now being tested. The continued spike in cases prompted Maui Mayor Mike Victorino to once again limit social gatherings to no more than 10 people on Maui. On Oahu, Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell is closing bars again for at least three weeks. Nikki Shenfeld has more. Effective at midnight tonight, all bars in Honolulu must shut down. Restaurants that sell alcohol must stop the consumption, selling, and serving of alcohol by 10 p.m. As cases continue to spike, Mayor Caldwell says there have been clusters coming out of bars and a few have been breaking the rules. We want to try to set some discipline here to protect all of us. And therefore, for the at least the next three weeks, bars are shut down. Last night, two Chinatown bars were ordered to shut down after violating liquor rules. Since bars reopened in mid-June, Caldwell says about 21 violation notices have been issued by the Liquor Commission. Ten written warnings. So we have examples of bars that haven't been following the, the requirements. We have examples of two bars where we have COVID-19 clusters. State Health Director Dr. Bruce Anderson says five cases originated from those bars and the clusters are growing. Just associated with those two bars, we have now another seven cases that we think might have been associated with uh, those bars. Dr. Anderson says the three week closure is a good start, but clusters have formed at house parties, beach gatherings, and gyms too. I am concerned that uh, this is going to uh, spin out of control pretty quickly if we don't uh, take some aggressive uh, uh, containment measures. Mayor Caldwell says if any bar doesn't shut down, it will receive fines and could possibly lose its liquor license. Restaurants that do not stop serving by 10 p.m. will also be in violation and shut down for 24 hours. Lieutenant Governor Josh Green says it's everyone's responsibility to follow the rules and keep gatherings to 10 people and to socially distance or we could face another statewide closure. This 124, man, if it becomes 250 or 300, it is over. Then there will be an order to completely shut down the state for two to four weeks, back into a kind of a full lockdown, and I really don't want us to have to endure that. Depending on how the closure goes, Mayor Caldwell says he'll ask Governor Ige to either reopen bars sooner or at least extend the 10 p.m. liquor sales for restaurants. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.